we're gonna open the uh, delta and we and we're gonna show how to replace the control card all right for this we're gonna need t10 we're gonna need a regular phillips and 1132 okay right, the first thing is make sure it's unplugged i'm gonna take these four screws from so we can take care of the coupler for this we're gonna use the t10 press this place four screws take out the coupler and they're done. Now the next step is open the machines, taking the screws around. It should be 11 or 12, depending on what kind of machine you have. It's one on the front. You will have three here. Three in this size as well. And over here you could have four or five screws. Only the ones on the bottom. Alright? Not the other ones. So we started to take this one in front. Here in this case I have four. And that's it. Now you can hold it here, grab it here and pull it out slowly. That's how you open the machine. Now for replace the car. You will find two connectors. In this case, the two connectors are here. Sometimes one of the connectors uh, could be around here. And the PCB cable. So the way you do it is just, there's a little clip on the bottom, you push it up and pull slowly because it's plastic and could break down. Over here you see the little switch. So that's the one you have to press it for, for uh, before you pull it out. You do the same thing with this one. Pull it and then check it out. And the PCB cable, just check a little bit and you can pull it out. Okay, that's how you take it out. For taking out the control card, after you pull these wires out, you will find four nuts. For taking those out, you're gonna use this tool 1132. You just place it and lose it up. After you take out the four nuts, you're gonna move a little bit up and down, shake it slowly. Try to force it right evenly because if you pull only one side, you could break the card. 
and that's it. Alright, now for putting back the control card. We have to make sure um, these four washers are in, it's like this, so you leave it on. That, that's really the first thing has to be before you, you place the control card. Next, you grab the control card and you face down the screen as, as so, and then you flip it. I have to go this way. Now after you have the control card already in, you're gonna put back the four nuts. Now you use again the 1132 to tighten it up. Tighten it up, make sure all the bottoms are working correctly because maybe it's too tight, so you have to loose a little bit. So, the way you make sure working is just filling the click, so that means they're okay. Next step is put the connectors back. This is um, the connector came from the Razer A, um, this one goes here. This is for the 1.2D, but if you have 3.9, should be connected around here, in this one, only for 3.9. But since this one is 1.2D, goes here, and then we got the other one that came from the wiring from the harness. This one is gonna go over here. But again, if this one is this control card is 3.9 going over here, around here you're gonna find it the connector and then you got the PCB cable this PCB cable only have for four pins so you have to connect it here the one has only four pins this one has two the one on top has five and this one has four so it means it goes here again some control cars this connector will be around another area so you have to find where it goes in this case it goes here now after you finish putting um, the control card you want to close the machine just place it and make sure it's um the base is in of the top when you get it closed you grab your screws use the Philips. the front, then the sides, and the last one will be the back. So I got the front first, now the three screws on this side. Now we're going to 
another thing. In the back. And now we'll put in the coupler. Donut. If you have it, if you don't, just skip this step. Then the coupler has to match each hole with the hole of the uh, gear. So make sure here. You know, your four um, screws. Remember T10 for this one. When you when you put it back, don't tighten. Because um, it's gonna be really difficult to take things out of it.